Welcome to Harmonica Breeze lesson number three. I'm Ami and in this lesson we will learn how to write the notes. If we want to write the sound we have to deal with two elements. The first element is the pitch of the sound because sound can be low or can be high. Low like this. and sound can be very high, like this. And the second element which we, we have to deal with is the duration of a uh, sound. Music is art in time. Sound can be very short, can be long. So let's start with the first element, the pitch of a sound. To write the pitch of a sound, we draw a circle, circles around the five parallel lines, which are called stave. The notes can be drawn on the line of the stave or between the line of the stave. We have five lines. The bottom line is one and the upper one is five. And as we going up the stave, the pitch of the note going up. Now at any beginning of a stave we draw a sign, a symbol, which circle around the second line of the stave like a tail of a snake and it's called G cliff. G cliff show us the note G which are on the second line of the stave and if we know that this is a G by the cliff so we know how to play all the other sounds. This cliff is good and uh, useful for many many instruments, most of the instruments like harmonica, flute, trumpet, guitar, and so on. But there are other instruments with very low pitch voice and they use a F cliff or bass cliff. And it's good for bass, uh, bass harmonica, for uh, tube, tuba, for cello, and for bass guitar, and so on. So let's go back and see the notes on the stave and if we want to draw a sound lower than the G cliff we use a ledger line and we put uh, the notes on it and if we want to draw a note higher than the cliff we use a ledger line above and put the, the note around so I so now I will play all this scale from the bottom from C to D E F G A B C D E F G and A on the harmonica just pay attention and follow me So now we know how to write the pitch of the notes. Let's meet again on the next lesson and bye bye, keep the harmonica breathing.